voting has to be, has to be number one top priority Mm -hmm. for this election because the country is all over the place. I mean, they can't even get it together with the fact that this COVID is real. So where now the president of the United States has it. He still is our president, regardless of how many things that he does that we don't agree with. You have it now, so Mm -hmm. you know, what's your next move? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sade. This is Nina. And we are Meet the Shoe. So today we're going to talk about voting. Voting. The 2020 election is near, very near. Have you thought about who you're voting for and why you're voting for this person? So today, um, many people ask questions about felons. So why felons can't vote while in prison, why felons have to wait so long to vote after expiration of their sentence and parole. It's just varies from state to state. But as you know, Minnesota, we are a state that restores your uh, voting rights after um, you're expired from you know, doing your time in prison and then your supervised release time. So when I, from my experience, when I, um, I, I never voted. That was last four years was my first time ever voting in my life. And who'd you vote for? I ain't gonna tell you that. Oh. That show wasn't Trump. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why wasn't it Trump? I don't know. I, I, I before I liked Trump as a um, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's because I chose to vo- vote because a woman. I wanted to see a woman win. Oh, okay. All I right. think that was the main thing. Mm-hmm. And then by prior, you know, she was first lady you right. know, many years ago. Right. So I seen that prior experience. Mm-hmm. So that's why I um, voted for her. Um, okay. You know, um, Trump is a great entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna leave it as that. So I received a letter in the mail. Uh huh. And I opened it. It says you've been relieved from all your uh, whatever uh, your felony. your voting rights was restored. Your voting like rights restored and a couple other things that you know I just bypassed, but whatever. Mm-hmm. And hey, I was like, okay, I can go vote. And that was what two months before the okay. election. Okay, that was good. I know, huh? Right on time. It was. Mm. So as you may, so let that be said, Minnesota, you can get your voting rights back. Mm-hmm. So please. If you're done with your sentence, if you're done with uh, supervised release, please go out and vote this year. Right. Please go out and vote November 4th. At least if you vote, that's giving you a reason inside your soul and your brain to know that what you're fighting for, whether it be, uh, you know, cheaper taxes, mm-hmm. um, better housing, mm-hmm. um you know, just the uh, global yeah. warning as far as, you know, how nature goes and, you know, <laughs> the food we eat, whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever reason for you to vote of uh, for your beliefs, mm-hmm. it's just crazy for you not to exactly. vote. Because there's so many people that have lost their lives just for this, men and women. Mm-hmm. Of all races. And, you know? I, and I like the fact that Trump released a lot of non-violent crime. I, I'm a true believer that a person, when they go to prison for non-violent crimes, such as drugs, right, trafficking or anything like that, mm-hmm. they can change their life for the better. I mean, giving a person 10, 20, 30 years or life for drugs, mm-hmm. it's really absurd to me. Yes, it, it is. It's, 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 it shows me that... A murderer or a child uh, molester can get out before someone is, you know, just basically sold drugs. Right. I mean, it's wrong, but... Either sold drugs or stole money. They end up doing more time than a person that has committed murder Mm -hmm. or did a child crime, Mm -hmm. you know? So that's the hurtful thing about it is that nothing's fair. 
No. Now, as far as Trump and uh, releasing people from prison that had nonviolent crimes, I think that that was in the best interest of him because mm -hmm. he needs everybody on every side, all teams yeah. to get on his side mm -hmm. for him to get in the office. That was a blessing. There are so many people that were locked up that got out because of him. And all of those people <laughs> said that they're voting. You know, I yeah. know people that have been released and talked to them and they said they're that's definitely him. who they're voting for. You mm -hmm. know, their loved ones are voting for him just for that reason, even though I think that, you know, with um, the state of the world, with uh, what's going on with Breonna Taylor mm -hmm. and George Floyd, mm -hmm. Armada Arbery, Arbery, you know, I think that, um, and many more, I think that when he doesn't address, you know, the black community about the things that are going on, mm -hmm. I think that that's wrong, being as though you're the leader, you, you, you run the world, so you set the tone. You've given all these options for the racist people to stand up and stand by. I mean, what does that mean? Right. You know what I'm saying? You give out all these instructions to assist mm -hmm. hate, but you haven't done no assistance that will assist love. You know, right. we, we're, we're just looking at you like, OK, we, you know, as in the people that have voted for him because I didn't. But people that do vote for him, you know, everybody has their rights or whatever. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their beliefs. I'm not against whoever you vote. That's your business. Right. But being as though. He is the leader, like I said, and he's not addressing the issues at hand. It's hurtful. So now, due to the fact of we're going through the voter voting and it's election time, mm -hmm. boom, he gets COVID. <laughs> and everyone at first was like, oh, it's a hoax. Oh, um, it's a lie, but it's not. And I could see how yeah, he got it that. because he doesn't wear a mask mm -hmm. and he's against the mask. Then he keeps saying, oh, um, you can just get over it. Oh, we're working on um, a cure right now and it's going to be go fast and don't worry about it. By spring, you all will get back to normal. That's all a lie. Mm -hmm. And it's leaving. coming full circle now that it's a lie. Mm -hmm. So um, for this election, it's probably more important than any election that we've ever had to get out and vote because we don't know what this man is going to do. I mean, he's already 74 years old. He's not going to bow out. No. And his ego won't allow him to do that. And so even if he's sick and he stays sick, he's not going to put it down. He's not going to go, you know, turn away from the election. This mm -hmm. is very, very important to him, as we can see. So it's important enough to him to tell the American people lies, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So so now we have Biden, mm -hmm. Democrat, mm -hmm. Trump's Repub Republican. And uh -huh. then we have the independent Kanye West. <laughs> so what do you think? I mean, I know you did a little research on uh -huh. him. And uh -huh. what who's who's is he on a. He's on a Minnesota ballot, yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah, he, he, I don't know what person <laughs> would even think or what his topics would be or what he could do for us. Like, you don't have no political background. Well, Trump didn't either, so. <laughs> no, Trump didn't. And really, the White House is ran by the AIDS, yes, right? Yes, Congress. So, the AIDS is who tells you what to do and say, right? Mm-hmm. And the thing with Kanye is even with Trump, that's probably why they get along. It looks just like a stunt to me. Yeah. Like it looks like a lie. Like you just want it to another thing to go a notch, you know, up under your belt to say right. you've done something uh -huh. so childish. And, and the reason why I'm saying childish is because you think it's a joke. Exactly. I don't mean you're childish as a human because I don't know you, but it's childish for you to say, oh, you know, I'm a billionaire. Um, 
I can just go right out there and do anything that I want to do. But really, what about the people that are taking you serious? Because there's some, some people, people that take it oh, serious. Yes, oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. it's some people in like 2%. Chicago. Oh, 2%. <laughs> 2% saying that, uh, wow. people want to vote for Kanye West. Oh, so wow. That's, and uh, that's probably a lot of Chicago. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Because <laughs> you know Trump wants to split the black vote. You exactly. Know, he's a rapper at exactly. Mike, uh, loves him. Exactly. You know, he's a great entertainer. He's Exactly. But uh uh-uh. so so tell me this, do you think he would be in the same category as um what's the governor of Kentucky right now, the black man, the dude? Uh, uh what is his name? Uh he don't matter, but the governor of Kentucky right now, the black uh-huh. man that they're calling him a house, you know what? A house, <laughs> you know, he's the house. house. Yeah, 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 you know, mm-hmm. he's the house, you know what. So him that um allowed those officers at, oh, uh, right God. now yes. to get off you yes. know what i'm saying not be the charged attorney the attorney general yeah mm-hmm. so um do you think that kanye west would be in the same category as him as far as wanting to divide the black vote as far as the black people going you know to 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 get it thrown to the side so well, some votes can be wasted on him oh, yeah. and won't be given to Biden so Biden can lose well, and right. Trump can win you know oh, yeah. cause That's Kanye amazing. West that looks like he was used as a, as a pawn you he know is. what I'm saying like Remember, he was the scapegoat he was the one saying slavery was a choice Oh, exactly. Yeah. His big words. Yes, slavery, slavery was, was a, a choice. choice. Yeah. No. Yeah. Even his. Even in. Even his. Uh, she's not Caucasian. What is Kim Kardashian? Persian or somewhere. Else. I don't know, but even she, even said and felt that that was very disrespectful. Mm-hmm. So, saying this to say that voting has to be has to be number one top priority Mm -hmm. for this election because the country is all over the place I mean they can't even get it together with the fact that this COVID is real so where now the president of the United States has it he still is our president regardless of how many things that he does that we don't agree with you have it now, so mm-hmm. you know what's your next move. He hasn't even finished doing the things that he was supposed to do for us for these four years. So how started. can he that right? So how can anyone believe him outside of releasing, which I love. He got he did blow me away on that. He did release many a lot of nonviolent offenders due to the First Step Act. Yes. He did. Mm-hmm. But, you know, far as, you know, when we go back for voting rights, uh-huh. you know, there's two states that let prisoners vote. Okay. And what that are those? Who is that? That is a great. Vermont and Maine. Okay. So while in prison, they can exercise their right to vote. I love that. Oh, wow. Yes. I do, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, w- I wonder... What do they um, feel when they, you know, does it make them, you know, their time go by a little better that they feel a little normalcy while they're exactly. locked I up doing so. their yeah. time? They and feel like they're part of part of something. And I feel they should do that with all states. You all, When you voting for something, you're in prison and you voting for something that's outside the wall. I think you feel so. If, oh my God! I, look, I would be happy. Right. I'd be like, I did something. Right. You know. Yeah, I would. That's special. I would. So, mm-hmm. um, so the prison, um, it's Marble Valley Regional Correctional Facility mm-hmm. in Vermont. Uh huh. And then I think Maine is uh Rutland Correctional Facility. Yep. And they established that in two thousand and eight, I think. Yeah, two thousand eight. Yes. So I mean. I know they put it on a. Uh, many states have offered that mm-hmm. in their. Uh, Which um, their um yeah the the uh the there's, what is it three other states right now that um, they introduced it, 
and to, um, you know, to let people vote. It was Mississippi, Alabama, and uh, Alaska. Oh, nice, nice. They they wanted their the prisoners there to do it due to the crime, oh, right? Depending on the crime. Depending okay. on the crime. Now, if you had a violent crime, you couldn't do it. Right. But if you didn't, you could. So now, Sanders had introduced in that everybody should be able to vote, regardless mm-hmm. of the crime. Mm-hmm. But that didn't go anywhere. So it's like um, legislation is still putting, you know, stipulations. Uh, all the representatives are still putting stipulations on voting rights in the penitentiaries, mm-hmm. you know. So. Because I see they say at least nine states. Mississippi is one of them, so I'm shocked for them to even put that on a table mm-hmm. for a person to vote. Because they're they permanently, if you catch a felony in Mississippi, Alabama, you're permanently, you never would be able to vote. Wow. Never. Look so at that. Look at that. That's a good thing. To, that's a big leap, you know, <laughs> Yeah. to be able to vote. Yeah. Again. So that'll be nice. That would. That would. Okay, well, I mean, we want definitely want you guys to get out and vote. And make <laughs> sure that <laughs> make sure that this election counts is right right at the top of your to do list. Please. Regardless of what state you're in. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to hear everybody say the famous thing. My vote not going to count. Right. But why? Vote, but how vote, would you vote. not? How would you not know? I would rather do it to feel like I've done it to help my community. Exactly. And, um, you know, the world that I live in, I would like to do it just for that purpose. Right. And make sure that, you know, I'm. Give it, setting an example for my children, children, children to let them mm-hmm. know, you know, how important it is. Because you can't complain about it if you didn't try to do something about it. Mm-hmm. If it don't count, I mean, at some point it will count. Mm-hmm. So how do we know that it won't count this time? Right. You know, mm-hmm. how do we know that while you're alive, something won't change? You won't know until you try, you know. Yes. So everyone, please exercise your right to vote. Um, we're going to put a couple links in the uh, in, our, in our bio to let you, you know if you need to register or chime in. What state are you in with a felony? Let us know. Yes. And any questions that you have about this podcast or any podcast of our last episodes, let us know. We will leave the links down below. And thank you for tuning in for another episode of Meet the Shoe. Yes, thank you.